Okay, so we frequently get data from um, a confirm it export and we frequently have to manually change the um, variable names in the SPSS output. There's currently no, um, from what we can see, consistency and that might be the provider, that might be the um, confirm it export itself. Um, but we need that consistency. So I want to show you some of the things that we do to play with the data to make our lives um, easier um, and how you can edit the, the variable names and labels easily and quickly. So in this example here, we've got the, the question names. We've all, they're almost in, in three parts. We've got the, the Q and the A's. Then we've got this two and the one so the two in this case is the iteration and the one is almost like the group so there's a group of ones here um, so it go, almost goes iteration then group and we actually want them the other way around we've got an automation process as you know that um, we use and so we need to flip those because it, it needs to be the other way around for the automation process um, and unfortunately that incorrect naming format is a cross in the labels. Um, so we need to adjust that. And what what might have been done in the past is this manually being modified just by double clicking on the variable name, going into it, changing it, come down to the next one. But there's a far easier way of, of doing that. And that's what I'm gonna show you. Um, there's, there's a couple of things we can do to make our lives easy. So I'm gonna take a copy of that. Just doing a control C, um, move over to a clean sheet. and uh, paste that in so there we can see all our variable names we're going to break the variable name up um, so first of all I want this the Q and the A's okay so I'll, I'll copy that down then I want the, the group and then I want the iteration so the iterations uh, 1 to 10 in this instance so I'll just drag that down to there, and that's group one. So just fill in that like so. Then we've got group two, group three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, oops, nine, and ten. Ten, I know it's the last one, so I can just do that. You go up top, and I'll copy the iterations down, making sure everything is still lined up. So that's all twos, yep, yeah. threes, fours. Excellent. So now we can construct in column E our new variable name. So we're going to press the equal sign, come over to here, just with the cursor, then do the end. I'm going to put in a full stop for the group and the group. Another full stop. Oops. And then iteration. So by double clicking on that, I'll copy that down. And that's our new uh, variable name and we could take a copy of that and um, come over to our statistics file and paste that in and there everything is is changed to the way we want them um, we've obviously got to fix up the labels but in this instance I don't want to do a paste because we get interim data so we get this file several times and if I had to to um, paste it all the time it's just uh, going to take me longer than it, it needs to be um, but first of all we'll fix up the label so we'll take a copy of the labels put that into Excel as well sorry my book I need to drag that down control C 
into Excel, paste that there. And what we're going to use is we're going to use the substitute command. So we can just do equals sub and then press tab and it'll put all the words substitute in. We're going to come to our text, which is F1. We're going to look for this A1 and we're going to replace it with E1 and close that off. All right. And then just double click that down. And now we'll see our label text is in the format that we, we want, 1, 3. So using this variable as opposed to that. So again, we could copy and paste that into statistics and, and be done. Um, but we're going to be, or we're going to take this a stage further and make some reusable um, code. So first off, we want to rename the variables. So we, the SPSS syntax for that is equals limit speech mark rename so we space variables then there's a bracket and there's the variable name followed by an equals close bracket full stop and do that so that's the structure of the um, SPSS syntax. So I'm going to move here two speech marks inside of the speech marks, two ands inside of the ands, and we're going to look for A1. Oops, A1. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. So two speech marks inside, two ands, move inside, and we're going to call it. E1. Copy that down. There's our, our syntax. So we can take a copy of that, come over to statistics, create a new syntax file, paste that in, um, control A to highlight everything, press play. And then look at our statistics, Sapphire, and everything's renamed the way that we want. And then obviously we can save that file. And the next time we get an interim, interim uh, data file or the next version of the data file, we can just run this syntax as opposed to doing lots of copy and pasting. The um, variable labels, we can do in exactly the same way. Uh, come back to Excel, press the equal sign on the speech mark, uh, and I think the syntax is variable labels, the variable name, then two speech marks, and inside the speech marks are the, it's the text that we want to set it to followed by the full stop. Okay. So we'll do the X first. So the X is the variable name we're looking for. So two speech marks, two ands inside, and then we want E1, because that's the new variable name, because we've already renamed it. Then come back up. Then again, inside the two speech marks, this is the tricky bit, remembering which is which. So that's those ones. Two speech marks, back one, two ands, back one. And we want it to be the new variable label, which is that one. Press return. So I do hope I've got this syntax right. We will see. So drag that down. Do my control C, come to my statistics file, press my control V. I'm just going to highlight the variable labels this time and press play. And now that was the right syntax, excellent. And now we can see that our, um, oops, that's the Excel file. 
our syntax has updated the labels as well for us and reordered them or rearranged the, the format for us. And there you have it, an easy way to uh, update and relabel and rename your sub files.